Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options. And this is the morning market preparation video for June 29th, 2020. Well, obviously on Friday, we had a pretty brutal sell-off um, in the market, just heading into the weekend. And all the uncertainty with the rising coronavirus um, situation. So where does that leave us for this morning well how about we kind of buckle up into our office chairs and let's prepare for the monday edition of the morning marker prep video so hey everyone i hope you had a fantastic weekend and uh were able to rest up it looks like we probably have a volatile week ahead of us as we slide ourselves into the fourth of july holiday the VIX is quite elevated and there is some considerable nervousness out there in the market. And that's to be expected when we see coronavirus cases rising so sharply over the weekend. And it, it's just, there's just enough concern out there that just has the market a bit on edge. So let's take a look at the technicals of the chart and let's see what we've got going on. Well, first off, I want to point out that we, we look at this trend right here. We have now broken that uptrend here just slightly in the diamonds. However, we are still holding above a pretty substantial support area and we held on to that nicely on Friday. And we also want to recognize recognize that we are also in this downtrend now this morning futures are suggesting a gap up open in the dow just slight gap up open trying to recover a little bit of friday selling and you can see we're right now suggesting that the futures will open right in here let's be careful with that and remember that we are in this short-term downtrend and that we have broken that uptrend here at least for the moment now on the positive side of this we have held the whoops that's a two-day we held the diamonds 50-day moving average on friday so moving up a bit this morning is trying to put on a brave face here um, as we open up can we push on through that resistance up there that'll be the question can we get through that little downtrend resistance hold it as support and then can we recover that 200 day moving average that's going to be an important test and maybe a difficult task as we head into a holiday weekend and we've got states rolling back reopening plans that uncertainty creeping back up uh, volatility is likely to be quite high let's take a look at the spy now SPY held comfortably above its 50-day moving average but I gotta tell you guys uh, when you get that close to a major moving average oftentimes the the market just draws right down into that average however we have a complication here we have a 200-day moving average right here that we're trying to recover and this morning if you take a look at the futures we're pushing right back up trying to open just slightly higher and hold on to that 200-day moving average so could that 200-day moving average uh, end up being the most important of the day or will we see uh, some bears come back here and retest that or test that 50-day moving average and test supports you know guys it's gonna be really hard to tell and there could be a lot of volatility here in the market now if we take a look and I'm gonna remove all those averages here if we take a look at the technicals of the chart the price action of the chart we have now officially broken that short-term or longer-term uptrend in the chart and we have to recognize the fact that we are currently downtrending here in the spy however we do have this nice little level of support that's trying to hold this market so i think and this is just me speculating but i think there's a high probability we still test that 50-day moving average so let's watch that carefully just in case we find a little bit more profit taking or a little bit more selling coming in but if we get those bulls inspired enough it's possible that we 
push right back up and hold that 200 day average uh, by the close of the day. So let's watch this close. Anything is possible. If we take a look at the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ is there's really nothing wrong going in here um, on this. We have been able to hold up pretty substantially, but there are some warning signs out there in uh, the market as some of those big tech companies are a little bit under stress right now. So watch that carefully. If we get some significant selling in the NASDAQ, and I'm not saying that we will, but if we do get some selling or some profit taking here in the NASDAQ, that's gonna make it really difficult for the market to rally. So watch that close. And this morning, as you can see, we've got a little bit of a bounce coming here in the nasdaq but not so much as to really lead the overall market higher so watch that carefully it's just a little bit of a mixed data here uh, one of the problems we have is is facebook is is running into some serious issues here breaking its 50-day moving average on friday and then gapping lower this morning um one of those big five um and that may be a little bit of a problem for the market here today if they some of these guys start selling off so watch that close um, they have some pressure going on as uh, com companies all over the United States are boycotting um, ads um, so we'll see what what comes of that let's take a look at IWM IWM um, also in that short-term downtrend so let's take a look we've got this short-term downtrend going on we also have a break of support here on Friday but just barely and you can see that we're trying to hold that level right there now that 50-day moving average could draw pretty heavily here on um, IWM. And one thing we want to make sure and take note of is we have a failure at the 500 and a failure at the 200 and then a lower high in here. So the chances of IWM, I think, testing that 50-day moving average are pretty high and maybe even dropping through to test this support right in here. So watch that carefully as we progress um, through this week. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX is a bit of a concern here. As you can see, closing Friday, quite elevated, holding on to its 50-day moving average. And let's notice that that 50-day moving average has flattened out and may even be starting to turn a little bit higher here. So watch that carefully. The VIX is kind of a funny animal. It doesn't really respect moving averages all that much, but it is something important to watch in the fact that we have broken the downtrend here in the VIX as that fear continues to rise up due to Corona and we're holding some support here in the chart. So we'll wanna watch that. If fear really starts to creep in based on these coronavirus numbers, we could see that begin to spike back up so watch that carefully like i've said many times before i'm never really worried all that much about that first wave of selling it's if we end up pulling back and holding a price support that's where the real sellers will come in here on the vix so we'll want to watch that pretty closely if it begins to spike up there could be major concerns starting to build however if we can break that support if we can break on back down, that will solve a lot of that, and we could come back down here and test that 200-day. Let's take a look at T2122, which is the four-week new high, new low ratio. And by the way, guys, I get a lot of questions about T2122, um, because if you look around out there, I... I I honestly don't even know where else you're going to find it except for the TC2000 platform. There's got to be some place out there that displays this, but I, I don't know where it is. So if you ask those questions or have that question, I, I don't know. One thing I will suggest is if you're looking for a good software package that includes it, take a look at uh, TC2000. It is in my opinion head and shoulders above any other charting platform out there for the money and um you know what can you say um less than 30 dollars a month and you get good quality charts i mean it's maybe maybe an idea would be to invest in your business and pick up a good piece of software um so 
take a look at this on, on T2122, you can see what we've got going here as a little bit of a that sell-off here on Friday, pushing us back down into this bullish reversal zone. Now that would tell us that we have a possible bounce that could be coming, and we're seeing that little bit of a bounce today. But let's also keep in mind that we have all these pressures forming on the market and there is that possibility that we could linger down in this lower area for a while. So this gap up open this morning will pop up in here just a little bit. Um, but don't be too surprised if we end up kind of bouncing around here a little bit as that volatility remains high. Watch that pretty closely. And then if we take a look at our economic calendar today, we've got, well, just a light day on our economic calendar, but something that we will want to pay attention to for sure. And that is, whoops, didn't mean to drop that off of there. Where did it go? Give me just a second. There's our economic calendar. And as you can see, we have this morning, we have pending home sales. We'll want to pay attention to that pending home sales uh, this morning. And we also have a Fed speaker. Now, home sales have been pretty strong um, during um, this Corona season. So um, hopefully um, they will continue to, to remain strong. But let's make note, we have a real busy week here. We have uh, Jerome Powell speaking tomorrow. We have um, lots of um, economic reports um, coming out, such as the um, FOMC minutes. We have ISM, just a busy, busy week. And then we've got ADP and right there that's going to be the mac daddy of the week probably going to be the employment situation number on thursday this time as friday is a holiday markets will be closed on friday um, in observance of the fourth of july so kind of keep that in mind as you plan your week ahead on the earnings front we've got uh, about 50 companies on the earnings calendar today but really not much out there that's particularly notable about the only one i could really come up with it's particularly notable is Micron. Uh, Micron will be reporting today. Let's watch that closely. Um, obviously, this is one of those uh, pretty good sized tech companies that could move the market around a little bit and really help inspire um, the markets. And we've gotten some of that inspiration so far this morning. I don't know what's happening, but we, we've been kind of lingering around um, you know, 90 points gap up this morning. And right now, Dow futures are pointing to 150 points in a gap up open. As we're trying to put on a brave face, even though these virus numbers continue to spike and create a little bit of um, just uncertainty um, in the market. So keep an eye on MU as it reports this morning. That could provide a little bit of energy. It looks like it right now it's indicating to open about where it closed on Friday. Let's take a look at some charts that could be setting up uh, for today. And if this is the first time, um, if this is the first time you guys have seen these videos, if you guys could do me a favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. And I wanna say thank you everyone who does take the time to do that. It's, it's truly, truly um, humbling to me the great comments that you guys leave behind and you're responsible for the growth of this channel. Um, I try to do my best to put out good content, but couldn't do it without you guys, um, everybody doing, um, you know, just supporting the channel and its content. Thank you very much, everyone. You guys are awesome. I truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at a few stocks that, um, well, are worth paying attention to and a lot of stocks that have held up pretty darn well. Um, take a look at Lowe's. Now, Lowe's, I'm going to go to a uh, what I call my naked chart. Um, I evaluate price action first and, and believe price is the number one thing. And if you guys want to see some of the videos on that, check, check out the Price is King video. I believe it is 
really, really important that we focus in on the price action of the chart. Not try to predict, but look at the chart and see what it's trying to tell us. And as you can see, um, Lowe's really has resisted major sell-off, um, even though the market is showing a lot of concern. It's resisted a major sell-off. And you can see, although we have pulled back, could be holding some price support in here. So let's keep an eye on lows. There is that possibility as this holds in here, we start seeing those bulls pop up and, and in reaction to these, um, this really, really strong support level through here. So watch that closely. If we can start responding to that, Lowe's has some upside opportunity um, in that chart to pay attention to. Take a look at OKTA. OKTA, while the market was selling off strongly on Friday, OKTA was saying, nope, we're not having any part of it. And you can see we've held some support in this chart of the trend and the possible resumption of the trend and we're looking at a little bit of bullishness now we're still trying to show an open here that's uh, relatively positive for the day well, let's watch OKTA if we can re um, bounce through that resistance high there there we may be looking for the next leg up here on OKTA watch that pretty closely really really nice looking chart as you guys know I've been paying attention um, quite a bit of attention to um, gold and I'm actually long just to be um, fully disclosing what's going on so I may have a bit of a bias here I've been long gold for a while and it's looking really really good nice little pop up here on Friday and this morning we might be getting well opening about right where we closed we'll have to keep an eye on that see if gold can continue to a rally now if i look at a longer term chart i think there is a possibility of a rest or a pullback coming here in gld so i'd be really careful about chasing it but um watch that pretty close gold holding up quite well Let's take a look at some um, whoops um, stocks that may be affected by these housing numbers. Take a look at Fastenal. Fastenal is a company that provides all the nails and fasteners and stuff for a lot of construction. And you can see in here Fastenal holding up pretty darn well. Now, although we've had some selling and we have that possibility of this double top high failure, let's watch this closely. If the housing numbers continue to show good signs in the market, it may be those little bit of green shoots here that could hold these price support levels and we start moving back up here in Fastenal. Keep an eye on that if you're looking for some long trades. Uh, trades that you might want to consider for possible short. Take a look at Facebook. We looked at at this one earlier there's some issue going on here with Facebook and they had a real strong wave of selling in here now I wouldn't want to chase this on this gap down this morning and here's what I would suggest if you if you're looking at Facebook for a possible short what I would wait for is that to find some price support in the chart here wait for that to bounce back if we do get a bounce back up here in that chart we'll look for a failure problem somewhere near resistance here in the area so if we bounce back up and we run into any kind of price resistance in here i would watch for a potential failure there and setting up that lower high that might be a place where i would look for a short trade in the market but let me um let me mentioned that shorting something in this market is very very difficult to do um, right now and particularly as we head in to the end of the quarter we could see some end of quarter window dressing start coming in and that says those 401k plans and things like that um, make their purchases and reshuffle things um, heading into the next quarter so watch that closely could be a lot of volatility around this but Facebook is facing a bit of a shall I say so social problem out there right now and um, they're getting a lot of companies pulling their ad revenue um, at the moment let's take a look at a couple other companies that have been looking really good really really well um, PayPal 
holding up very strong and as you can see it got a little pullback here on Friday but it resisted really any heavy selling PayPal holding up strong these pay systems continue to show lots and lots of strength so watch this here PayPal um, blue sky highs no resistance above so keep an eye on that if um, this were to break through right in here pushing on up there is that possibility PayPal could continue to extend this upside move. And also SQ, SQ has been very, very strong, as you can see, continuing to rally. After breaking through up here, let me push this back, and you can see we broke through the resistance high here. We're just sliding back a little bit, consolidating that move right across that level, and that possibility that those bulls will push on in here and extend this rally on up. And it looks like this morning we're getting just a little bit of bullishness here, pushing up toward those highs. So watch that carefully as we reach the open. So with that, everyone, hey, um, just a reminder, none of the stocks I show you in um, these videos is a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Make sure you do your due due diligence and remember guys we have a busy busy week here and we're heading into that holiday weekend and with coronavirus spiking that uncertainty is going to continue to weigh on the market here quite a bit there may be quite a little bit of sensitivity to news so watch that closely and be prepared for that volatility everyone stay safe be careful out there this is nothing to mess with i want to wish you all a fantastic day in trading. Take care, everyone.